Oh, God. Where am I getting the energy for this little dog? Hi, right, guys. It is a gorgeous summer night here in paradise. In the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, good God almighty, it is already 10 o'clock at night. I gotta get over there with that little eco pussy channel collapse chronicles and do my manga bay rant but before i do that i just uh, there's this all sorts it is friday night august 19th 2022 anyway uh i wasn't gonna do a rant but not one not two but three stories on why you need to get out there and enjoy it while while you still can uh Good Lord, let's start out in, where is this? This is, uh, nope, uh, this is a subject of a rant, backyard mosquito spraying booms, but may be too deadly, but we're gonna, that's another rant for another day. We want to talk about people who wake up in the morning uh, thinking it's another day in the planet and then they never go to bed at night because uh, the universe had other plans. So, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> we're going to pick three stories in the mainstream media about, uh, about strange ways to die and of course, hallelujah, this has always been what, I mean, even when I was a little kid, I remember cheering these on. And here we go <clears throat> from the today's mainstream media. Overworked elephant rips Thai owner in half. There you go. All right. Uh, <laughs> This, this damn elephant, you know, he wasn't happy with just trampling this motherfucker to death. He ripped the son of a bitch into at least two pieces. An annoyed elephant, there you go, an annoyed elephant has reportedly ripped his owner in half using his tusks in the Thai province of Fang Ga after being forced to work in hot weather. Oh boy, I should never be forcing anyone to work in hot weather around here. Anyway, uh, yes, officers responded to a call about the elephant owner's death at around 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Upon their arrival, authorities were informed that Pom Pam, a 20-year-old male elephant, had ripped apart his owner, 32-year-old Soup Chai Wong Thad, yes. Rescue workers, officers, and the village chief went to the scene of the incident and saw Wong Fed's body in the middle of a rubber plantation. They reportedly found his corpse split in half in a pool of blood with Pom Pam standing over it, saying, Take that, you motherfucker! Fuck you! Anyway, Fang Ga Provincial Livestock Officers were called over to sedate the animal so rescue workers could retrieve the body of the motherfucker. Uh, he is the son of of the district's former mayor. Yes. Uh, during their investigation, uh, police officers just discovered that Pom Pam was forced to carry wood in the rubber plantation prior to the attack. The officers suggested that the hot weather that day made the elephant go crazy and attack his owner and uh, waiting to see if they're going 
uh, to kill the elephant or not, although the practice of using elephants to carry wood through forested areas was banned by Thailand's government in 1989, the practice still occurs. Yes, this is uh, Duncan McNair, the CEO of the charity Save the Asian Elephants. Quote, this is yet another stark reminder that Asian elephants are and always remain wild animals that can attack and kill when they are abused or overly stressed by humans. They suffer deeply psychologically as well as physically when broken and forced into constant severe toil in logging and related activities. And we have 769 comments. It looks like a brief view of the comments cheering on the elephant. It's unclear whether they're going to kill the elephant or take him to a uh, take him to a uh, an, an elephant whatever uh, whatever they call those uh, elephant uh, rest home I guess okay but we're gonna go from uh, Thailand over here to Yellowstone National Park where we have this weird one uh, human foot found floating in Yellowstone National Park hot spring. A Yellowstone National Park employee found what appears to be a partial human foot in a hot spring this week. The foot was still inside a shoe floating in the abyss pool. The abyss pool Yes, which is near the West Thumb Geyser Basin. Uh, an investigation has been underway since the foot was found on Tuesday. No additional details were available since. The abyss pool in the southern area of the National Park is a 53 foot deep hot spring, one of the deepest in Yellowstone. Uh, Rangers temporarily closed the access to the West Thumbs Geyser Basin after the shoe was found. It has since been reopened for visitors. Yes, we have 1,360 comments uh, on this story. Uh, there's a guy named Humpty Dumpty with the comment. So, does this guy have one foot or two foot in the grave? They don't call it the abyss for nothing, I guess. So there you go. We have a partial human foot. Eh? <laughs> so guys, as I say, you never know. Now this third article uh, from the great state of Florida, I don't know how many of you... Uh, have heard any of my rants. I've done several of them from Florida, although this is probably true anywhere, about these, these uh, I, I guess, these incapacitated school children who cannot walk home from school or get on a damn school bus. Apparently, school is already back in session, and I, as you've heard me do rants, about these damn parents who spend their entire lives taking their little brats to school in the morning and then picking them up in the afternoon. You know, they, they I mean, all of this rigmarole because the little fuckers either cannot walk or can't get on a school bus. They, this, ne this was never a phenomenon when, when I was growing up. I never saw this in my life. I never saw... Uh, cars wrapped around the block, lines of parents, uh, you, you know, grabbing their children as soon as they step out of the schoolhouse and, and but before they even get into the car. 
and, and just I, I just don't get it. Whatever happened to school buses or walking? But this seems to be a, a especially a, an, an issue in Florida for some reason. And so here you go. This is uh, right here in the mainstream media from NBC News. Lightning strike kills Florida mother as she waits for her child to get out of school. A, a Florida woman was killed by lightning Thursday as she was in a park waiting for her child to be released from school, officials said. Yes, this was in Winter Springs, Florida. I think that's near Orlando around 2.20 p.m. yesterday. Uh, another child and a dog were seen by professionals and are okay, police said. Uh, the group was waiting for a child to be released from a nearby school. Quote, while they were waiting, a lightning strike came down and energized the area. Yes, it did. Energized the area. Parents frequently gather at the park to meet their children from elementary and middle school after classes are done for the day. Uh, there you go. Uh, you, you, you know, I never remember anyone, any mother getting struck by lightning and killed waiting for her kid to come out of school. Okay, now in, in Georgia where I went, we didn't have middle school, so elementary school was seven years. As far as I know, my mother never once, never one time in her life, was waiting outside. You know, my mother had no chance of getting struck by lightning waiting for me to come out because she told you, walk your fucking ass home, you little spoiled brat. I, I don't remember any of my I, I, any of my fellow schoolmates getting picked up by their parents. This is so anyway. This mother will never have to worry about going to pick up her little brat again. Her little uh, you know her little uh, privileged, probably white little brat who can't walk home from damn school anymore. Uh, I, I got no sympathy for the woman. I got no sympathy for the kid. She never should have had the fucking kid. If she had never had the kid, she she wouldn't have gotten struck by lightning waiting for the little fucker to get out of school. But anyway, uh, you can connect all the dots you want to uh, about those three. We call it culling the herd is what uh, I've always like that term, culling the herd, when you hear of clueless fucking morons getting hit by lightning, falling in, uh, in, in hot springs, and getting uh, ripped in half by elephants. So we have three less humans on the planet today than we did a couple of days ago, but of course, while those three people were getting uh, erased what is 270 times 3 were born on the planet. So, uh, anyway, now that I've had some fun, that little eco pussy uh, has to come back and do his manga bay roundup rant to see uh, how this damn planet is going to hell in a handbasket while clueless fucking morons are getting stomped to death by elephants and all the rest. But serious, I, I think the takeaway from this is get out there and enjoy it while you still can. Ugh. Bye, guys. Little dog, I got some bad news. That was just a preamble. We got to go do our real rant now.
Well, you act like you're ready to get off the table. It ain't going to happen. We have to do our real rant.